In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a website for free without having to code. In this example, we're going to make a small business website for a handyman service. By using the steps listed in this video, you're also going to learn how to create a personal website, blog, or even e-commerce website. So here's the website I'm going to start building today, and it's about a handyman service. I've designed the website to be conversion oriented, which means that our call to action buttons are in orange so that they stand out and are more likely to be clicked. We have the contact number really high up so that anyone can give us a call with their questions instead of leaving the website. There's some more quick information about us and why you should choose us, and at the end we have testimonials from previous clients. This is how we attract customers, right? Aside from the homepage, I've also created our services, about, contact, and testimonial pages, which are simple, easy to understand, and easy to use. To make the website, I use WordPress, which is a free website creation tool, also known as a content management system. It's used by a lot of websites such as CNN, Sony, and even NASA. WordPress has a huge community of freelance web designers too. So what do you need to build a website? Well, firstly, you need a domain name. This is your website's address and name. After you choose a suitable name, you need web hosting. And that's the server that keeps your website online. You can host your own website, but it's not very practical. It's much cheaper and more reliable to have someone else host your website. Once you've gotten a host, you need to install WordPress, which is completely free. Just make sure you use WordPress.org and not WordPress.com for downloading the software. The hosting service that I personally use and recommend already has WordPress built in so that you can install it with a single click. After getting WordPress installed, it's on to building the website, and for that you need a theme. A theme is something that gives your website a certain look and functionality, and you can add further functionality by installing plugins. Finally, when you have the look and functionality set up to your liking, it's time to add your website's content. So let's start off by getting a domain name and web hosting. For this I used HostGator, and it's a super reliable and very user-friendly domain and hosting provider. They are recommended on a site called Hosting Facts, which basically analyzes each web host for their uptime, load time, and customer support. From my experience, I found them to be a reliable, trusted host. They're also one of the biggest hosting web providers, with over 2 million websites. Since we're using WordPress, I found it best to go with HostGator WordPress Cloud Hosting, which I find first rate. Now, they originally cost $13.95 a month, which is pretty hefty, but they have some discounts that are available. Just type in the following URL to get it for $2.99 a month. Hostingfacts.com slash go slash HostGator. Use the link in the description that's below the video to see if the offer is still valid. So next you'll be on their hosting landing page. They offer three different hosting options, all with unlimited storage and bandwidth. It's good because they don't limit you if your site starts to get some serious traffic or if you plan to upload a ton of content. Now I'll go with the cheapest option because I'm going to build only one site. But if you plan to create more, go with the higher priced package. For me, the $2.99 package is good enough. Oh, they also throw in a domain name, which is almost free. It costs one cent. So the next step is to choose a domain name for your website. If you're setting up a business website, I recommend choosing something that you can brand or is related to your business. If you're creating a blog or personal website, just go with your name.com. If you already have a domain name that you purchased somewhere else, click on the right tab and enter your domain name. If you don't have a domain name yet, write it in the first tab. In my case, I'll go with fixyourstuff.org. As you can see, it's only one cent for the first year. I also recommend that you purchase domain name privacy to avoid any unwanted spammers because it hides your domain registration information from the public. Next, we need to choose a hosting plan. I'll go with the cheapest option, which is for one site, and I recommend that you do the same unless you plan to build more than one website. I have a monthly build contract, but I truly recommend that you get a 12 or 24 month plan because I'm unsure how long they'll offer this service at this price. It could easily go up again. Now the security pin isn't very important because it'll be sent to your email after you've completed the registration, but it's good if you can memorize it. Next, just fill in your personal details and choose the payment option, credit card or PayPal. I use PayPal, but you can use a credit card if you don't have an account. Additional services are not really needed, but HostGator does include website backups and extra security by SiteLock, which is a good perk to have. You can also choose SSL to turn your site into HTTPS. As you can see, the final cost is $15.95. If you don't opt in for domain privacy, you can get it for $3 too. 
Now, it can take around five minutes for HostGator to activate your account. Once it's activated, you'll be sent to this page here. Just click on Hosting and you can see that HostGator has already installed WordPress to my domain. From here, you can manage the install, create email accounts, and so on. But for now, we'll just click on Manage WordPress. And you'll be greeted by the WordPress login. Once we've logged in, we will see our WordPress dashboard. This is where you navigate and change every part of your website, but let's get right into setting up the website. On the left column, hover the Settings tab and select Permalinks. Here, we will need to set the permalinks to post name, so our post's URL will automatically be the same as the post title. Click Save Changes and head to the Plugins tab. You will have some pre-installed add-ons here, which we don't really need because we're going to install our own plugins later. So just select them all and choose Delete from the drop-down menu. Now we can start building the website. I've gone over hundreds of different themes and for this particular website, I've chosen the Tesseract theme. Mainly because it's free, highly customizable, and already has most of the functionality that we need. It also has great tutorials how to work with this theme, and I do recommend checking them out if you're new to this. But right now, let's just download it. After it's downloaded, head back to your dashboard and locate Themes on the Appearance tab. Click Add New and then choose Upload Theme. Let's locate the theme's zip file on our computer. There it is. Let's install it. Once the theme is installed, we also need to activate it. Now that it's activated, we can leave it as it is for now and go create the necessary pages that we need. So in order to make them, we need to go to the Pages tab and click on Add New. Right now, I'm not going to add any content to these pages. I will just create them for the header menu. You'll see what I mean in a couple of minutes. So let's name the pages and make sure that it's set to Full Width Page in the Page Attributes. Now, just do the same thing for all the pages that you want to have. For me, it's Home, Our Services, About Us, Contact Us, and Testimonials. Now that we're done, we can visit our website and we can see that it doesn't really look finished, and there is basically no functionality. To change that, you need to click Customize in the top menu. Currently, we're not going to set up the whole page. We're just adding a header, a footer, and a menu. On the right, you can see a preview of your website, and every change you make, it will automatically update the preview. First, I'll go to the General tab and set the home page to Static. I'm going to choose the page that we previously made called Home, and add the orange header first, followed by the menu. So let's go to the Header Options and select Header Colors. From here, you can change the text color, background color, link color, etc. But to do that, you need to know which colors you want to use. I recommend choosing a color palette from the web that suits your taste, but for me, it's blue, orange, and gray. And make sure you have the colors RBG code. First, I'm going to change the background color to orange. Text and link color is going to be blue, and activated color is gray. I'll change the logo text color to white. Now we can go back and head to Site Identity. Nope, I mean header logo. In here, you can add your site logo, which I've already made, but if you don't have one, you could easily create one by clicking Create Your Logo. It will direct you to a website where you can easily make one. Here you can search for graphic elements that you want to have. I'm going to go with tools and select these shovels. Also, let's add text next to it. You can resize or recolor objects and mess around with them as much as you want.
After you're satisfied with the results in the bottom right, you can crop your logo and hit save. It will automatically save it as a PNG with a transparent background. Now to add it to your page. Change the logo type to image and click select image. You can upload a previously made image or use the logo you just made by simply dropping it here. Let's choose the image and we're good. It's a bit narrow so I'm going to change the header size a bit. Just slightly bigger. And let's go to the header menu, Font Styles. In here, you can change the text size and font. So let's change the font weight to 300 and font size to 17. In order to add a menu, we need to navigate back and select the Menu tab. From here, click on the Add a Menu button. Let's give it a name and select where it's going to be placed in our site. I'm going to display it in the header section. We can choose which pages we want it to show. I'm going to select all the previously made pages and click on Reorder. Hmm. I think our services should be first, followed by About Us, then Contact Us, and Testimonials will be last. Nice. Now we can click Save and Publish. And we have a menu. It still doesn't look quite right, so I'm going back to the Header Text tab. Let's make the font weight bigger. 600 should be nicer. Now that our header and menu is done, let's also set up the footer. I'm going to copy the footer text that I already have, but you can also write your own text. Now let's navigate to footer options and click on footer content. Here it gives us many options to choose from. I'm going to go with the HTML option, which lets you add a link or text to your footer. Copy or write over the pre-written text and then head to footer colors. I'm going to copy the color code from my color palette again and change the background color to blue. Also, we need to change the text font. You can choose whatever font you like. I'm going to go with Lato. Now, let's change the color of the text a bit. White stands out too much. Let's make it slightly more gray so that it blends better with the blue background. Yeah, that's much better. Now, we can copy the color code and make the link color match the text color. Perfect. The header and footer sections are now set up and we can start building the main content part of the website. Click Save and Publish. Now, in order to make the website look like that, we're going to need a plugin called Beaver Builder. In the WordPress dashboard, head to the Plugins tab and click on Add New. Type in the search Beaver Builder. And install and activate the first result.
To see how it works, we need to visit our site, and as you can see in the top, there's a new tab called Page Builder. It offers you a tour if it's your first time. Since I'm already familiar with it, I'm going to click No Thanks, but I recommend taking the tour if you haven't used it. So, in order to add a hero section, we're going to need to go to Content Blocks and locate Hero Explorer. There are many options to choose from, but personally, I've always liked this one. Firstly, let's change the text by clicking on it. This will open the text editor. So let's change the title to We Fix Your Stuff. Set the color to white. And I think I'm going to make it bold as well. Yeah, that's better. Now, I'm going to copy-paste the subtext, which is almost like a company slogan, and align it to the center. As for the buttons, you need to hover over them and click the Edit button. This will let you edit where the button redirects the clicker. I'm going to change that to My Contact Us page, which is slash contact hyphen us. I know that it's that because in the beginning we changed the permalink to the post name, which means that every page's URL will be the same as the page's name. Instead of a space, there's a hyphen sign, and the other one will be slash r hyphen services. Now let's give them correct names and hit save. In order to change the background picture, I need to click the tool button at the top of the page. From here we can scroll down a bit till we see the background section. Make sure it's on photo and then we can select a new picture. Once again, I already have the pictures that I need, but if you don't, I'll leave a couple of awesome free picture websites in the description. To make it fit better with the site, I'm going to give it a blue overlay. Just choose or copy your desired color and choose how intense the color will be. For this site, 80% works well, and now we can hit save. And it's already starting to come along, but it's a bit too big and a bit oddly placed. Let's fix that. Once again, click the Tool button and go to the Advanced tab. In the Padding section, change the bottom to 0 pixels. It'll make the picture a bit more narrow. Click Save, and also let's edit the text. Highlight the title and click on the Text tab. It might look a bit complicated in here, but the only thing I'm going to do is locate the text size part and change the PT point to PX pixels. Yeah, that looks better. Let's save it. Hmm. I still want the picture to be a bit smaller. Click the Hero Sections Tool button, go to the Advanced tab, and change the bottom margins to, let's say, 100 pixels. That works. Click Save. Now, to change the button to orange, we need to go into the Text Editor's Text tab again, and locate a line called Button Primary Button. and replace the primary with orange and save. Nope, sorry, it was the wrong tab. I'm quickly going to inspect the tag. Ah, uh, yeah, it was just the orange button. Head back to the text editor and change the primary button tag to orange. There it is. Now it's orange. Perfect. Let's change the spacing a bit more, this time a bit from the top. Let's say 140 and the bottom perhaps 120.
Yes, that's better. So, now to add the feature section. Let's go to the content blocks again and choose services too. Once again, because I already have the text, I'm just going to copy and paste it. First, the headline. Because my text is shorter, I'm going to make it a bit bigger. Paste the text and change the color to orange. and the text to bold. Sorry, old habits. A bit bigger. You could also change the text to bold in the font weight line. Hmm. Yeah, that looks all right. Now let's change the icons. Once again, I already have the necessary icons and just need to upload them. Click on the Tools button and select Photo. Drag and drop them in. Choose the correct order and do the same steps for the other two. That one didn't change for some reason, so I'll do it again. There we go. Now for the text part. It works exactly the same as the hero section. Just copy and paste the text and make the headline orange. Oops, that's the wrong orange. I'm going to quickly correct that. Right. I need to set a custom color. Yeah, that's the one. Follow the same steps for the other two icons. Lastly, I'm going to remove the Contact Us Today part since I already have that in the Hero section. Before adding the next section, let's just remove the existing one. Looks quite good already, so we need to add this section. Let's head back to the content blocks and let's find Foursquare. There we go. Now, start with making the background gray instead of white. Click the Tool button and change the background type to color. Paste the color code and click Save. As you can see, there are only two pictures, and the content blocks need three. So, to add another one, I'm going to duplicate the picture and move it into this little blue line at the bottom. It's automatically going to be full width, but don't worry, we'll fix it. Now, let's duplicate the text part and move it into this little blue line next to the picture. Now we have three pictures with text boxes. Let's just edit the pictures and the text. Once again, I already have the assets that I need. Oh, 
Oh, and I've already uploaded them as well. So let's just select a photo. Let's do the same for the text. Copy, paste it again, or just write it in as you like. Align it all to the center. No, actually, let's just keep the headline in the center. Make the headline bigger. And also change the color to orange. And save. As you can see, the text isn't exactly in the center. So let's change that. Head to the Advanced tab, change the top margins to perhaps 80 pixels. Maybe a bit more. Yeah, 120 seems good. Click Save. Now, let's follow exactly the same steps on the other two sections as well. Change the picture, and once more, select the photo, copy-paste the text, change the size, change the color, change the subtext, change the subtext color, fix the spacing, paste the color code, and click Save. Actually, I'm going to change the subtext to white. Hmm, I think I'm going to make the subtext a bit bigger. Let's change it to 18 pixels instead of 16. Do the same for the other text. In the top right, and we can click Done, followed by Publish. We're still missing the testimonial section. In order to add that, let's go back to Page Builder, Content Blocks, and search for Simple Quote. Let's change the text to black and the background type to none and hit save. Copy paste or in your case maybe write the text. And I'm going to make it orange and change the name of the person to who said it. Now, we need to add a link here. Let's call it Read Testimonials and click on the chain looking icon. We need to address where the link will direct. Because of the permalink structure, I already know that my testimonials page URL is slash testimonials. I want to make that link into a button. Unfortunately, you can't do it by dragging and dropping. You need to use the button tag, which we used in the hero section. So in the text editor, go to the text tab and locate the link name that we just added and write class equals quote button primary hyphen button end quote in front of it. I'll leave that line in the description box so you can copy paste it. Just make sure you paste it before the link's name.
Once you're done, click Save. Let's make the spacing a bit narrower. In the Advanced tab, change the bottom padding to 0 pixels. Now, there is still a Call to Action section to add. So, once again, let's head to the Content box and search for CTA Simple. Once added, let's change the background color to blue. Copy paste or write the text. Change the link's name and also its destination, which for me is slash contact hyphen us, so when clicked on, it would lead to the correct page. Let's also make the button orange like we did in the beginning. Change the secondary button tag to orange. And I'm also going to add a solid line at the bottom. Pretty good. Our homepage is nearly finished. Let's click Done and Publish. Hmm. The header still needs a couple of changes. Let's go to the Dashboard and from the Appearance tab to Menus. First, I'm going to remove the Home menu and rename the other menus with Caps Lock. And hit save. Let's see. Hmm. Let's make it a bit lighter orange. So head to customize. Header options. Header colors. And drag them down a bit. Yeah, that'll do. Also, I'm going to make the logo a bit smaller. Perfect. And I'm going to change the menu font. Let's change that to Montserrat. Make it smaller, back to 300. And I'm going to make the letter spacing wider. The color isn't quite right. So back, header colors, and slightly lighter. Overall, building a website is about tweaking the little things, and sometimes it can take many tries before you get it right, but just bear with it until you get it right. Yes, that'll do. Let's mess with the opacity.
that seems right. So let's save it and start making the R services page. So click visit site, go to our services page and page builder again. And let's, oh, perfect, discover home. Change the text like we did previously. To our services, make the text smaller. And change the subheadline to what we offer. Hmm. Maybe change the spacing. Advanced, top to zero, and bottom to zero. And save. Also, we need to change the photo. So the tool button, choose the right picture, and also give it a blue overlay. Advanced, fix the spacing. Maybe 40, or zero and 80. or rather 100. Yeah, that seems right. Now, we need another content block. This time, it's called six text boxes. As before, change the text. Make it a bit smaller so that it fits in one line and also align it to center. Let's change it back to 32. Or even bigger. The text size box may have limitations. If so, then you could change the size also in the text tab. You can change the font size number to whatever you need. Let's change the spacing. Yep, everything seems fine. And click save. Hmm, actually, maybe even bigger. Forty-six. Okay, that's good. Now for the six boxes. Copy, paste, or write new text. Edit the title. And now we can just follow the same steps for all of them. I think many of you never realized that building a website can be this easy. Web developers can ask thousands of dollars for their work just because a lot of people don't know how easy it can be.
In the last box, we need to add a button. First, let's give the button a name. That's the words that will be shown on the button. Highlight it and click the chain icon. This makes it a link. And choose where the button will redirect. Now head to the text box. Before the button name, we need to add the button element again. It will also be in the text description so that you can just copy it. Wait, not blue, orange. Yes. And that's it for the services page. Click done and publish. Now on to the about us page. So about us and go to page builder. Change the text. We don't need the founders link. Paste it in here. Do the same to the main section. In the bottom section, we need to change these pictures. So select photo and one by one change all of them. We can just delete the bottom section. And done. Let's move on to the contact page. Let's hit up the builder page again. And in the content block, take the same hero section again. In here, we're going to need to do the exact same thing that we did in the home page and our services pages. Change the picture. Blue overlay. And fix the spacing. And of course, change the text. Now for the bottom, we need to look for contact three. Oh yeah, let's change the subtext. We can delete the pictures part because we already have a hero section. Oops. There we go. Also, get rid of this. And we're just left with the headline area, a contact form code, and a map. So let's change the headline first. There we go. Now, you see this line of code? This pretty much makes the contact form work. But before it can work, we're also going to need another add-on that will create the actual contact form. So let's click Done for now and head to the Plugins tab in the dashboard. Add New. and search for contact form 7. It's very highly used with over a million installs. Let's install it. And activate it. 
Now, there is a new tab at the left called Contact. From here, choose the one pre-made contact. In here, head to the Mail tab. In the first space, you can write the email address that you want to receive messages in, and you can customize it a bit more if you'd like. Let's go back to the Form tab and copy and paste the line of code in the blue box and click Save. Now we can head back to the Page Builder and finish the Contact page. Contact us. Page Builder. As you can see, the previous code ID was 255. Now, if we paste our copied code here, you can see that its ID is 78. That means that we can get rid of the wrong one. Just delete and save. Let's add some spacing. And done. Ah, right. We also need to fix the map's location. So click the Tool button, and you could search for a location that you want. I don't remember currently what the current location is, so I'll just leave it as it is for now. The only thing left to do is the Testimonials page. Again, go to the Page Builder. We're going to have a hero section and three testimonials. So, just as before, choose Discover Home. And, again, fix the spacing. Add a background picture. Add the blue overlay. And of course, change the text. Now, for the testimonials, you're going to need a simple, quote, content block, just the same as in the home page. Change the background color. Change the text. Change the person who said that quote. Change the text to orange. And now we can just duplicate it and once again just copy and paste the text. Make the middle one's background darker so that it will be easier to separate them. And one more time, copy-paste the text.
and make an orange button, which we've already done several times in the past. Add the button code. And done. Our website is complete and ready. Everything has been done using free resources and it only took us an hour.